your questions from my comments section, upcoming videos, and financially accessible wigs. I'll be talking about those things and much more on today's Silver Linings. Hi, I'm Angela and I am someone with gray hair and on this channel I review silver, gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair. So glad you're with me today. If you're new here, I hope that you'll stay to the end and subscribe if you find value in this channel. Well, let's get right to it. A while back, you might remember I did a video on the very first wig that I bought. And I have aptly named her because when she came to me, she had no name. She was an orphan. She had nothing in the box to tell me anything about her. Uh, as I said in that video, I'm, I'm not really going to say where I got it from, but um, <laughs> nice person, but just not a lot of help in terms of product knowledge. So here she is. Okay, so this is the video that I was talking about um, back, oh goodness, I don't know, what was a couple of years ago. Um, time goes by so fast. And at that time, I said that I was not going to sell her. I have decided to sell her. And I love the color, the colors, I should say, in this wig. Monitors can be very tricky, so I'm not even going to try to attempt to describe this color, other than to just to say that I truly love her but she's so much hair she sits in the box I have since uh, purchased a couple of other two or three other long wigs and I do prefer them so someone may want this wig if you want this wig email me um, make me an offer at one with gray hair at gmail.com I will be selling her sometime soon I'll put up a sales page on my website and I have not done that yet so that's that's not going to happen for at least two or three weeks I'm very busy um, but if you want her reach out to me and let me know there were three or four of you I think that said that you really really wanted her I will look back and see what I paid for her she wasn't super expensive but she wasn't cheap either she so and all sales will be final and first person who whose offer I accept and you'll know it right away will get this wig. I know someone was really itching to have it. Okay, now the second question that I had was of these two wigs, Alva and Kristen, which do I like better? For your information, the the wig that I have on right now is Kristen. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I like Kristen better. I did a review of Kristen here. You can see if you are new to all this searching around for channels and you want to find this particular this particular video, I will link it below for you. And here's here we go. Let's do the side by side comparison, right? And Alva is more salt and pepper, isn't she? Kristen is white. Kristen is number 60. Now, Alva, let me bring her up for you. Alva is more of a, I would say a casual wig for me. I would wear her for business. I would, and I would wear Kristen for business too, but Alva just has a totally different feel now. Um, Alpha is by Noriko. Noriko fits me very tight. And although I love Alva, one of the reasons I don't wear her more is because she's so tight on my head. I may consider selling Alva. I have, I don't even think I've worn her out. I've worn her around the house maybe for three hours or so, and, and that's basically it. Unless, but I do love her, and she, she was on back order for a long time. Um, I think that she's off back order right now, but I probably, rather than keep Alva, would try to find another style um, that's similar to her that just fits an average to large head. So, and also Alva, Alva is not a lace front. She's just, a, you know, the regular... traditional cap, nicely done, open wefted, and Kristen definitely has a lace front. So those are two main things about that. 
Alva, I love the style. Kristen, I love the style. They're just two different, two different wigs, and they fit me differently. Kristen fits me fairly well, but even Kristen, uh, even Jean Renault's average cap is a little tight on me. So again, I did not know that when I first started wearing wigs. So measure, measure, and measure again. Now, for me, I hope that answers your question. Uh, when you're going to buy a wig, how the circum not just the circumference of your your head, but also from here to here and how it drapes and how it moves and how it swings, all of that is going to be different on everybody depending on your head size. So I love them both. I love Alva, I love Alva, I love Kristen, but both for different reasons. And again, I may be selling Alva at, at some point, although I may just keep her just so that I have her in my inventory when I'm showing colors. April and Bella had a comment about Shakerados or long the longer wigs. Shakerado, uh, I recently reviewed her, is one of my absolute all-time favorite wigs. Taz had reviewed her, um, I don't know, a couple of months back, and I saw Taz's review and I just said, I've got to have that wig, and I'm, I've am i never looked back. Now, she's not the typical silver gray white hair, but she had enough white in her that I thought, you know what, I'm going to add that to my channel. So occasionally you will see me reviewing something that's more in the blonde family because it's got a lot of white or silver or some, in other words, it's bright. It's not... Um, it's not brown, and to my eye, it's it's just can fall easily into the silver gray, white family. So, uh, April and Bella wanted to know what can you do to stop the tangles. Okay, there is a product called Simply Stylin. Now, this product has been recommended by a lot of wig reviewers, and if you want to keep those tangles at bay, what you're going to do is you're going to, when it comes fresh from the uh, manufacturer, from the retailer, it has this silicone spray that's been liberally sprayed all over it. It causes it to have that beautiful slippery feel, that soft feel, that, that nice fresh out of the box feel. So, but this will help you to keep your wigs a little bit fresher, a little bit newer. I will do a review of this product soon, but it's not hard to find reviews of this product. It's been around a long time. It's in my Amazon store. I'll drop a link before. I'll drop a link down, uh, down below for you. Um, so you might want to pick that up, and it really will help extend the the life of your wig. Connect with your deck wants to know, Angela, I would love to know if you think the machine wefted top on Serena is as good as the machine wefted top on Angelica. Now, I do not know where Serena has gotten away to. She's run away from home. I can't find her any place. But um, I can show you this video right here. I've got the sound off, but I'm going to just do a voiceover as you're looking here. And... Um, you can see that I went into the the uh, the detail of the cap here. I wanted to I want to look at your exact question. The machine wefted top on Serena is as good as the machine wefted top on Angelica. Angelica has a lot of permatease right up in here. You can kind of see it under all that lace, under that pillowy. Not too 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 much. It's open wefted. Now remember, uh, Renee Paris, and in case you don't know, both of these wigs are made by the same manufacturer. Renee of Paris, um, Noriko, and Amore are all the same manufacturer manufacturers. So you're going to see a lot of similarities across across the across the brand. So I would say, and and yet yeah, this is not a lace front. Angelica is not a lace front. And Serena is not a lace front. So they're very similar in that respect. I'm not sure exactly what your concern is, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be worried about either one of them. I did like both of these wigs. Now, Serena came to me, um, I did not order her. She was sent to me by a wig retailer 
in exchange for a review. So normally I would not put her into my lineup of wigs because I don't see any silver, white, or gray in her. She presents very sandy, just like her name, Sandy Silver. But same manufacturer, same manufacturer as Angelica. So I would say the, the short answer is the caps are very similar. The quality is going to be very similar. They're just two entirely different wigs. And I love Angelica. She's one of my absolute favorite wigs. She's not too much hair. She's long, but she's not super thick. And she's she's very believable as far as I'm concerned, except the fact that, you know, she's got the black root. Now, normally, if you're growing out your gray hair, you've got the reverse. You've got the white stripe, and then you've got the, the black here. So they did the, the opposite. So this is a fashion color. But if you're brave, and you don't even have to be brave, if you just want to have something fun and wonderful to wear, I love to wear this when I'm going out to dinner, if I was singing, anything like that. Hope that answers your question. And here's a look for you just at the Angelica, the Angelica review that I did. And again, I'll drop that link below. So I've compared both of them for you. So you'll have both of them to be able to see. Just a quick word about this hair piece from Tony Bratton. I have to tell you, I absolutely love this straight fall. Remember years and years ago they would call something like this a fall because, you know, he'd put it up here and it would fall back. I purchased this same hair piece. It was one of my very, very first purchases. And I wore it till it was just looking like a little ratty thing. <laughs> I am going to be reviewing it when, in com when it comes in. So if you like the look of it, come on back and you'll see me compare this brand new headband with the one that I bought, I don't know, three or four, maybe even five years ago when I first started to go thinner on top. And I, I just cannot say enough about it. It was out of stock for a way before COVID and I used to look at the, the site once a week and I had it in my favorites and I'd click and I just figured that she stopped making it but she didn't. It's back in stock and it's been shipped and it's on its way. So look for that in the future. If you are new to this whole thinning hair, hair piece, wig things, this is a great place to start this particular piece because you can just, just like the picture, you just plop it on your head and you go. You plop it, and when I wear the length of my hair when I first bought it was exactly like that length that you see. I didn't even have to pull my hair back. I just put the hair band on, headband on, and out the door I went. And in terms of if you if you still have hair like here, you know, fringe, you can even pull your own fringe out, and it's just so believable. Oh, uh, of course, my hair is a lot whiter now. I'm not sure that it would match what she's got, but I'm going to give it a try. What's the worst thing that can happen? I sell it. Um, or I keep it and I use it for color comparison. You won't be sorry if you buy that piece. I promise. And it's affordable. $69.95. It's on sale. Francis Locke, one of my subscribers, uh, has, has written this. It's important to help women with alopecia with financially accessible wigs who may be experiencing financial challenges due to COVID or just a lifetime of putting others first and being financially exploited. Oh my, that is quite a comment. And so, you know, I got thinking about this, Francis, if you're watching. Um, I think there really is a need for us wig reviewers to address financially accessible wigs. And I think I'm going to be starting a new series about that because, you know, most of these wigs are two, three, four hundred dollars. Now, I try to buy them on sale. You can't always get them on sale, um, but I try to, to get them so that I can show them to you. But yes, what about the people who, they've just gone through COVID, they've washed, lost their job, they have cancer, they, they're not working, but they really need that wig. So I'm going to take what you've said under advisement. And, and having said that, I did want to share a few screens with you here. Um, a while back, I did a review because I was kind of thinking along the same lines. And listen, we know that a lot of people, let's just say, 
are selling wigs. They're taking our images. They're taking our content. And they're, they're, they're really defrauding the public, making you think that you're going to get a gorgeous wig, uh, a two, three, four hundred dollar wig for pennies on the dollar. And you're not. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but because of that, I wanted to just go in, I wanted to go to Amazon and see if I could find anything that looked like a, a good wig, a wig that I would wear out. And I did a review on this wig right here. Angela and I actually I mean I don't wear my hair like like this wig but um, would I I probably would she has a very maybe far into the future but she has a very heavy fringe very heavy bang but all of that could be could be um, thinned out so I actually ended up sending this wig Angela back to Amazon um, and here is that review. I was having very bad issues with my lighting that day. Still trying to learn it all, everybody. It's big learning curve to be to be doing these YouTube videos, but nonetheless, the content here is is uh, pretty sound, even though the lighting is pretty bad. So you may want to take a look at that review that I did. And then um, in that review. Um, well, right around that time, I also reviewed this wig. I did. I think I reviewed three different Amazon wigs. This one, which I actually liked. I liked this wig, but she just had a lot of volume up here. She had a lot of permatease. But again, she could have been thinned out. Uh, and I actually, one of my subscribers said that she bought that wig and, and she absolutely loves it. Now remember, I do not sell these wigs. These wigs, you can either get them from an affiliate code, which is down in, below in the show notes. Full disclosure, I may earn a small commission on that. They do not increase the prices of any product on Amazon if you see an affiliate code. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then I also reviewed a few wigs from Uniwigs, and they were sent to me. Now, I don't know what this wig goes for out on Uniwigs, the Levivid collection, um, but that was another one that that I think was not super, super expensive. Um, but you might want to check that one out, too. So what I did was I wrote to... I, I ordered another Angela wig. It comes in a bag like this. It's nothing fancy, no box. Well, they give you a, a wig cap. That's nice. And um, I can't get it open. I'm probably going to have to cut this. And I really regretted sending that wig back because since then I've been seeing a lot of com I've been seeing a lot of comments about financially accessible wigs, and I thought that this was one of them. So here she is again. Now I don't know if I would like her as much as the other review that I did, but what I like about Angela is if you look at her colors. Let me. If you look at her colors, the colors in this wig are gorgeous. It's a lovely combination of silver, gray, and white, which is what most of us want. The white around the face, and then the, the darker toward the back. And so, you know, I mean, Jean Renault, Beltres, Raquel Welch, Noriko, if you're listening, if you're watching, give us some more colors like this. Now she's just a very basic machine made cap. Again, watch the video and you'll see the full review. You can see she's got some permities, not a ton. She's not super dense. She's somewhat, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Somewhat, no, I wouldn't say she's super dense at all. And uh, so I'm going to be adding her to my collection of financially accessible wigs. And look for that in the future. I'll be doing a series on financially accessible wigs. Okay, the other thing that one of my um, subscribers shared with me is they'd like to see more toppers. More toppers, more toppers, more toppers. Let me just say a word about toppers. I really like toppers, and that's because I still have hair. 
but many of us don't have hair and of course your topper is not going to work if you don't have hair but if you've still got a, a good amount of hair your topper is going to work for you now having said that toppers are not as hot as a wig but they can still be they can still hold in some of the heat and I don't know about you but I feel that most of the heat is right at the top of your head and that's where the topper is so sometimes I just feel like um, if I'm going to put a topper on, I might as well put on a wig. And so, again, let me know in the comments what you think about that. But I think toppers are good just more for convenience. They're quick. But the more and more you get used to wigs, wigs become very quick as well. You just kind of have to get used to them, know what to do with them. And there really is a learning curve. So, but I will be getting more toppers. And because I do, I hear you. Just want to let you know, I hear you. And I am working on that. Now, someone wrote to me, um, because a lot of you make comments, these, um, the color white 60 is, is fairly flat. This one in my monitor, she kind of looks like she has some dimension to her. I've said this before, and I don't know what the monitor is picking up, but it looks like there's like a darker uh, color in here. There is not. This is all 60, color 60, white. Um, so it was suggested to me, if you don't want all of that white, you can get something like this. I don't know if you can see that. Let me split the screen. You can get something like this, and then you can lift up, you know, right at the root and start painting some of that um, fill-in powder there. I'm sure that you could also use something like, like the, um, the powders that I've been talking about recently you know the true hair product with the brush and again lift it up and just kind of brush it in brush it in at the root but there are some things that you can do if you just don't like the pure white white um, and sometimes I don't like the pure white depending upon which white it is some whites are better than other whites now this one that I have on is from Jean Renault color 60 again like I said this is the Kristen the Kristen wig. But that, I think, was a really good tip, and I did not know that. I would say even as, as, as much as a year ago, I was still so new to wigs. Um, but that's a great tip. Uh, that's, a great, that's a great thing to have in your wig tool belt. I wanted to say one more thing about financially accessible wigs. The American Cancer Society has a program where you can get a free wig. I'm sure that there are some hoops that you need to jump through, but take a look at this um, at this um, website. I'll link it below and, and give a read and see what you think about that. But that will be part of my um, Financially Accessible Wigs series. So I did not know that until my subscriber asked that question today, and I really thank her for that question. That was again, that was Francis Locke. Thank you, Francis. Um, I did see a video from. Let's see. Yep, Godiva Secret Wigs. Love them, and uh, they talk about this tool right here that you're seeing in this video. And, uh, you know, I think Taz did a video on that same topic. I might pick this up for my wigs, although I think somewhere in my tools I've got something very similar to this. But you just want to be really, really careful with those fibers. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And keep looking for the silver lining.